I have Ooknoss on onandroid.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, Lollipop uh, for the Galaxy S2 series. I've got it running on my T-Mobile Galaxy S2, uh, the GTI 9100, and also the AT&T Galaxy S2. Uh, they're not perfect, they're all like works in progress, um, but um, you can go ahead and flash them. But uh, let's go take a look real quick. Let's go do this, baby. All right, folks, so I've got it uh, running on my AT&T Galaxy S2. This thing just heats up. Uh, and eats up battery life. As you can see, I've got it tethered to my uh, charger and it's just heating and it just freezes up. So I don't recommend the AT&T version. Uh, if you, you can actually install the i95, uh, i9100 version on the AT&T. Actually, both of these I, I don't recommend. Um, the i9100 version actually looks pretty good, uh, except that you can't get Play Store working. I keep getting errors. Uh, so it's work in progress. But uh, if you want, you can go ahead and try everything else. Um, you know, let's actually try the camera together here. Oops, camera failed. Uh, you can go into settings, I mean, and then you go ahead and <laughs> check out everything. I mean, the UI itself is working. Um, so, you know, it, it's a really work in progress. Um, so that's that. But I don't recommend it. If you're going to use it as daily driver, uh, give it another two weeks or so. I should have an update on both of these. Oh, this is getting super hot. And I don't recommend the AT&T version. I know many of you keep asking, so I just wanted to update you because this is why I didn't really update because all of these are not working that well. As for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 users, um, you are in luck because a lot of the stuff are working. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, um, um, this one, everything is working uh, except for incoming calls. So if you have to take calls, incoming calls, um, this is probably a deal breaker for you. And also always leave your Wi-Fi on. If you boot without Wi-Fi on and you put your phone to sleep, the phone will reboot. But other than that, um, everything else works. NFC works, uh, camera works, and uh, you know, it's not a bad deal. Um, you'll get 720p, of course, here. All right, camera works. Um, so again, I mean, these are all not daily drivers, but I just want to show you that. Uh, but you can make a backup ROM for all of these and try it out, and then go back to your old ROM if you want. Uh, there's no, you know, you can go ahead and do that. If you have no other phone, but you really want to try out Lollipop, you can go ahead and try out these alpha versions. These are not even beta. Um, maybe this one's sort of beta. Uh, but uh, in another two weeks, maybe a month, uh, we should have a fully working lollipop for all these phones. Uh, in the meanwhile, I do suggest um, just uh, staying on KitKat. There's a bunch of great 4.4.4 KitKat ROMs, uh, or you can go with a TouchWiz ROM. But for right now, that's my verdict. Everything's in beta, so um, just give it another two weeks and I'll have an update. And thanks so much for watching this video. I will have more updates for all the other phones. I'm still working on, uh, well, I was working on fixing my office. Uh, finally, it's getting there and uh, you know I'm ready to make videos much, much faster. Um, so I will probably uh, speed up things here and upload more videos, um, so watch out for that. Uh, but in the meanwhile, uh, stay on Android.